Hello and welcome back to Auto Club. We are in Be Open here tonight. And of course, Auto Club is familiar because we were just there for the trucks. Um, of course, the uh, NASCAR season has started and with the iRacing schedules matching the real life counterparts, we're going to be visiting certain tracks multiple times a week. So. Look forward to that. I'm at least looking forward to some more Auto Club because I do really enjoy this track. Let me make sure I got my correct setup in because again, OSR had a qualifying setup available. And I think it's pretty darn good. Was able to get a, a pretty fast time. And the practice beforehand. Just gotta remember not to uh not to forget to change it back to the race setup before the race and I got to make sure I get it on the first lap here because again they're asking us to run a hundred percent tape and it wants to blow if you're not careful so let's get it done on lap one get all time Optimal green flag, up. Green flag. Okay. Okay. Time black. With how long these corners are, it seems beneficial to really get a uh, big sweeping entry. Alright, I'm happy with that. 39,490 is what I got in practice, and so far, first sector's looking good. Oh yeah, good stuff. Not gonna get quite the runoff as my all-time optimal, but one more lap. Oh yeah, that's good. Happy with that. 39420. I like it, I like it. We'll see if we can do anything here, but I think the uh with this qualifying setup, it's actually the tires actually have worn out already a little bit. Very clearly made for just one lap, and you can see the water temp down there going nuclear. So, I think I'm happy with that first lap. Don't think I was ever going to be faster on lap two here. So, we will do a practice green flag pit stop instead. The guy behind has just done a 40.1. Ooh, a little bit hot. That's fine. Had a black flag. We'll need to come into the pits. That's just fine. Just being a little extra careful. And, uh, the queue setup is a little tighter than. The race set up, and obviously we're going a little bit faster, too. <laughs> but I'm feeling good about that. A uh, 39420, you can see we're two tenths faster than P3. This never happens with the uh, open Xfinity series, or even the trucks, really, on these somewhat decent strength of fields. We've got 2.9 here. So it's cool. I actually have a qualifying setup for once, and it, it feels great. And I'm going to switch it over to the standard race setup right away, so I don't forget. There we go. And uh, normally, I'll be cheeky and add a percent of tape, but this already seems pretty on the edge to begin with. So I'm not going to mess with it, actually. Um, I was already getting some, a little bit of temperature warning whenever I was in practice. But I think it should be pretty easy to lift off and manage that. And I think it's going to be pretty pretty important and pretty nice to have that little bit of straightaway speed when the straightaways are so long. This is great. I, this never happens. This is pretty cool to be able to set a time near the front. So shout out to OSR. They've got a really good qualifying setup. Hopefully the race setup will be able to compete just as much. I was happy with how it felt while running it in practice. But the Q setup, they got it. I think... Uh, I easily could have gotten a 401 if I just hit my marks perfectly, you know, just hit them a little bit better. I think that's within the realm of poss possibility, whereas usually when I'm running my race setup for qualifying, it's pretty clear that I just don't have what I need. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, I think we could probably do a pretty decent job. We are the four car. But I think just uh, looking for a top 10 would be cool. And I think we can do it. I'm, I'm confident, but, you know, don't want to be overconfident either. 
That's a pretty nice lap, 39.268. That's a solid one right there from the 10. I'll have to be careful. It will be a bit oversteery early on. The uh, race setup, of course, a little bit looser. Should hopefully be better for a long run pace. That's the end of the session. Hopefully everyone around us will be somewhat patient. We got 65 laps to work it out. P3, that's about as good as I could hope for in one of these open NASCAR races. I don't know. I'm sure I've qualified decently not too long ago in the series, but it feels like I never do. It feels like I'm down here when I'm trying to do <laughs> these open series. So I I'm excited. That's good stuff. Get the uh, chat back on in case we need to hear things. We'll have the temperatures ready to take an eye or take a view of just in case they start getting hot in the draft. That's why I didn't want to push it either, because even alone, I was, it was getting a little bit warmer. And with the draft and just being in dirty air, it could, you know, rise those temperatures even more. So I, d I don't want to push it in that department. But I think I should be able to lift off in the corners, save tire, and prevent overheating at the same time. Two session last lap. I think I remember the last time we were here. Tire saving was very important. Everyone was going through the corners much slower than I expected. And I ended up losing my tires, my right front, after a while, or, or otherwise just losing a bunch of speed. So I'm going to try to save them pretty good. You can see just after those couple of laps, 97, 98. So the tires are going to wear out pretty good, I think. Maybe I should have uh, paid more attention to my brake bias. I kind of glanced at Auto Club and I'm like, oh, we won't need brakes here but maybe we will maybe when this thing gets uh if we get a long green run maybe we will need to get on the brakes a little bit on entry we'll see i think it's going to be big just making sure i'm patient getting back on the throttle because again these, these corners are so long and sweeping it could it can easily uh, happen where you get on the gas too soon and you start moving toward the wall I'm going to try to keep on top of that. Follow car number 10 in the inside lane. Up and rolling. I'm excited. Really do enjoy this, uh, enjoy this place. I'm not sure I call for one. Actually, not that bad, I promise. It's just luck of the draw. <laughs> it's pretty good luck. Did you just say you don't know how you did that running at 39.2? <laughs> yeah, just like it just hit perfect. It's like that. You're him, Dustin. Thirty-nine six. Nice. And gapped the field by like a second. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> I've been there before too. Like sometimes you just hit a lap, and it's just you got lucky or something. The wind blew the right direction at the right time. <laughs> it looks like a second gear start. Not much of a tire spin or anything to worry about. I'm hoping we don't end up three wide immediately. It's very uh, easy to easy to do here. Wide track. About to go green. Stay focused. Safe car is off. It's being a little easier than I was expecting. We're lifting off a little bit. It's fine, we're good. We'll get up in this draft. Try not to overdrive it. Yellow 
Aww. That's disappointing. Go, let the pace car by. We think shite and Jones have spun out. Well, say someone's last name was shite? <laughs> oh no. It might have been what he's saying if he crashed. Save some fuel. Good coming, Andy. Jet stop 10. Go. Well, it sounds like we lost some guys already. That's too bad. I hope we don't get a bunch of cautions. I think we should be able to get some long runs here, but this kind of happened in the truck race, too. We had a early-ish caution, not that early, but it was like lap 13 or so, and then we were green the rest of the race. I hope we get something similar here. This green laps would be a lot of fun. We'll save some fuel. Just in case we want to stay out long. The pit road is closed. We're under caution. Pit's closed. <laughs> He's got like the... Aren't those like the rookie stripes? The yellow? He's not a rookie though. <laughs> He's not even C-Class. He's got an A license. Maybe that uh, scheme is based off of something specific. I don't know. Isn't that what they do though? They have like the yellow on the in the real life series. I don't remember. So we lose a spot, but that's not a big deal. We'll just be starting on the outside instead of the inside, and I think uh, outside might be a little bit better of a place to be anyway. Seems like it's easier to keep it steady up there on the restarts. So that's. Just fine and dandy. Can roll this thing pretty good, saving fuel. Not sure how much good it's going to do me, but something to do under caution anyway. Something to keep uh, keep me awake. Keep some fuel in it. feel like I'm being productive while doing nothing. So we'll start behind the one this time and watch the three instead. That's the ten move back to third. One to go. Next time by. Line up on the outside. And we'll try it again. Wonder what happened back there. Maybe someone got loose pulled tires. That's always very possible. Second gear worked pretty well. We were right on the bumper of the leader. So we'll get going again with 61 laps to go, I think it would be. Just getting started here at Auto Club. I wonder if the sun's going to go down by the time we uh, are finishing up. It is 4.43 in sim. So that's a little earlier in the day. So I don't think we're going to see nighttime. Hopefully not. <laughs> We'd be here a long time. We'll just get maybe some sun going down. Sunset in California. See if we can get another decent jump. About to go green. Stay focused. Pace car is off. <laughs> green flag, green flag. Alright, it works. It's gonna block us off, that's fine. Car in front of us is Smith.
I don't think draft is going to be as big of a deal as it was in the trucks, just because uh, got to lift a lot more in the corners. Tire wear is going to be a bigger factor, so not too concerned about keeping up with those two first guys, but it wouldn't hurt. We've got a draft partner in front of us right now, so that's A-OK. -okay. Just not trying to be side by side. I'm keeping his draft if I can. We're actually back up to him already. Back to the uh, two guys that had a little bit of a breakaway, just a tiny one. They're trying to battle him. I just prefer to take the lower line there. Got some turns, some rotation mid corner. It's good, I don't mind that. Good to know what's coming now, though. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Going to the high line up there, maybe? Yeah, I don't know about that. He's gonna get a great run, but. My bad. That was all me. You got loose or something? Okay, Colton, your water temperature looks quite high. E it's good either way. <laughs> I know you didn't mean to do it. Outside. Outside. <sighs> I, I didn't know you were like right there Outside. in my quarter panel. Outside, clear. Well, that sucks. I think we might have lucked out a little bit. We obviously were able to avoid catastrophe. Okay. Now we're stuck behind some blinking people. Very interesting. That was obviously very bad on the tires. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Still there. Clear. Planning to get on his inside right here. Clear outside if you want it. Gotta be careful going through the field. I don't know any of these guys' driving styles. I haven't seen any of them drive yet. Give room. Just try to make my way back forward. That was quite the, uh, quite the scary moment, though. Getting hit and then heading toward the infield. I had to, uh, I actually had to get off the brakes so that way I could turn my wheel to the right and like steer it away from the wall. I had to be very careful how I did that or else I was gonna get my race ended immediately. And uh, the fact that we're still in the in the main the major uh, pack, I guess you could say, it's very nice. We'll have the draft. I think we can maybe work back forward. Caution would be nice at some point now, even though I love green flag pit stops. It would be nice to get fresh tires on this thing now. But we'll work with what we got. Not sure how bad the damage is on the right side. I don't see anything from here, but he did slap me pretty hard. Car 
I do not want to be three wide. Hey, clear him. Uh, he's got some major damage at 13. He must have been involved in the first wreck or something. Still pretty, he's pretty motoring for uh, not having a whole front end though. Tell me straight away as you can see he's struggling. We got some guys coming together up there. I see someone definitely pushing up high. We're definitely going to need something to go our way to gain back so much time. All right, so hit the brakes. Don't know what we're going to see around this corner. You suck, John. Oh, that wasn't very nice. It wouldn't be the turn. You hooked the guy in the deep, bro. So. No, he came up. That's what happened. Fuel and tires will be acquired. I slide him like that. It's just completely well, yeah, unnecessary. Sure that was my fault. I apologize. Uh, I played it a four, maybe the three or the two. Again, I apologize. Base car off two. That's okay, man. It happens. I actually lucked out and somehow avoided the inside wall, so I'm uh, I'm hanging in there. Yeah, I just had a killer run, and I thought I was gonna be able to squeeze. I didn't know you were right there. But, sorry. That's all right. We got lots of time hey, in this can race. Stick around and catch a fucking pack. Yeah, let's go. Your engine temperatures are looking better now. Not too worried about uh, catching up. I mean, I'm gonna have to fix some damage anyway, I imagine. But generally, a good idea for everyone to catch up. It's like we're fine. Real slow heading into the pits. The pit lane speed limit is 55 miles per hour. Man, we're crawling into here. Come on, guys. We'll need to stop again. That was weird. Richie says we can't make it on fuel still. Oh my god. Pit from second lane. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. Get it stopped. 12.5. That's not bad at all, actually. 93, 92. I'm really liking how that tire wear looks. Definitely need to take left sides. Okay, I'm actually going to take some track position here. Line up, single file. So we won't fix that damage completely. It seemed to be running okay. I'm not too worried. Four point nine. That's pretty close to making it. That's interesting. There are lots of people behind us though, so I don't want to like top off or anything. We gotta catch back up. Just trying to save fuel, but gotta catch back up. It's our open. One to go, next time by. Okay, You're on the Colton, outside this time. Race Get back to the this lap. Car. All right, we've uh, been dealt a bit of a bad hand here to start off. It's not the end, though. We are in 16th, still not awful. We've been uh, gifted a caution to kind of regroup. You have to be careful. Look at around uh, the pack here, but we'll see if we can gain back any more track position.
Bit of a checkup coming. Gotta watch out for that. Really want to save as much fuel as possible. So I don't know if I can do that though. I don't know how much fuel you can save here. So that's gonna be very interesting. About to go green. Okay. Stay focused. Hopefully we can get some better luck this run. Hide car is off. Green flag, green flag. Guy had kind of tried to jump it and that broke his momentum. Am I clear? Car inside. Oh. Really going slow. Don't want to go three wide. Not doing that. Oh my god. Who's pitting? I don't see who that is. I don't know what car number that is or anything. Okay. Scary. Guy overhead, ahead overdrives it. Gotta get by him, he's going way slow. Oh my gosh, that guy's going to the apron. Thank <sighs> got no momentum. Didn't want to do that. Someone's getting loose up there. I see smoke. They're behind. Is he going to push or is he going to try to pass? Looks like he pushes a little bit. I appreciate him for that. Good stuff. Ooh, a little bit of turn on late exit there, or early exit there. That was curious. Don't get too loose now. Oh, here. Just done a little bit tight. We got this huge pack in front of us covering all the lanes. Might be an arrow issue. Had to be off the gas a little bit more than expected. I thought mine. So I'm getting loose right side by side next to someone. There's a lot of potential for wrecks here. I gotta really keep my eyes out. Keep my eyes open. We're in 12th. Had to use a little bit of tire to make some moves to get up here though. The next car is Harris. It's a little concerning. But we gotta do what we gotta do to get back up there. Whoa. Good job. Yeah, this is scaring me a little bit. I can definitely see a big wreck happening. Outside. Still there. Got a huge run on the 20. I think he had to lift off. He was getting tight, maybe. Not gonna uh, block him off there. Uh oh. What is happening up there? It's a little hesitant on getting back on the gas because what I was seeing. Now we got people bouncing up the walls. This is crazy, man. Yep. 
Okay. Not quite clear of them. But we get it done there. All right. Got the twelves draft. You're in the top ten. I'm trying to run a little bit lower than everybody just to try to stay out of the arrow push a little bit. I think it's feeling okay. I'm very happy with this setup. Even with a tiny bit of damage, having to make my way through the field, having to use some tire, I'm still feeling like I'm strong, so got a good car here today. I always enjoy being able to say that. <laughs> Not only because it means I've got a good car here today, but it sounds like I'm actually a real driver because they're always talking about like, yeah, we got a great car. I get to feel like a real racer. Oh boy. Trying to get to this guy's inside. Just running my line. Very bouncy down the back stretch. I get a great run out of four. Way I've been driving it. Is it the leader up there? Yeah, the ten's back in the lead. I guess he didn't get much damage at all. I don't even think I know exactly what happened. I thought he went hard into the inside wall, but maybe it was that three. I didn't even see initially that the three was involved in it, but I think maybe that three is the one that got huge damage. It'd be interesting to look back at that and see exactly what happened. All I know is I got hit on the right side and sent toward the infield. Yeah, 5.4. It's going up, so we're definitely not going to be able to make it. Coming at about lap 48, probably. Doing some quick math. It's funny running the higher line. Looks like he's got some speed. Not going to fight him too hard. Stay low. Outside, clear. Yellow flag. Is out. Yellow flag. Well, it's not looking like we're going to get a green run here tonight. People behind us reckon. We're back in the, uh, well, we're at 11th now, but we got ourselves back into the top 10 for a while. You better heard it. We're under caution. It's closed. Base cars out. Line up single file. So, we'll get some new tires. We got some track position back. We'll fix a couple seconds more of damage. Gonna need these tires though. A little bit concerned. We'll be down to our last set, but. Third outside, but I don't think I moved. Gotta do what we gotta do. Be interesting to see if anybody decides to stay out. I don't think that would be the play though, because you need gas. Thank you for completely ruining my race up to me. Come on, 25, you gotta go past me then. You straight. You also have to run and have the entire inside open, so I don't know why you thought you had to sweep there. You could have passed me like five different times, but never did, so I don't know why you just decided to do it there. Fight, fight, fight! It's alright. It's because there's a moron. I can't control the temperatures are looking better now. Oh! They're angry. So it's from the 27 perspective, it sounds like you came down at the meeting, 17. Maybe we can actually enter the pits normally this time. Smith is pitting. 
Watch your speed. I don't know, man. We'll fuel you to Definitely the end of the race. on that one, but I felt like we were racing side by side, and as we know, we're hooked into each other. Assuming most guys are going to be pitting before me. No, the guy no. who's directly behind is pitting. Man, I know that for certain, but watch you hook him. It was a thousand percent you. Three. Two, Just like every one, time you've got them right home, here, got them. someone else's racing line, you can't control your car. Oh boy, we're angry. All right, so tires, fuel should take us to the end now. I think. Looks like it. Under ten seconds of optional. Okay, go. You only have one tire set remaining. Coming out in just about the same spot, though. Yeah, from yeah, what, what I, I need. Alright. Oh, we did pass somebody. Might have had some pit trouble. Number nine back there. So we'll be in the top ten, I think, unless we had some different strategy going on. Oh, yeah. Watch watch for my end car and understand my. Position. Feels close yeah, enough, I will save some. Car. Just in case we get, like, no, three green-white checkers. In Never know. Right, Never know what situation's gonna happen. Second oh. wreck I've been in that. Uh, I didn't do anything. So what spot are we in? Damn two, you only had like three pit boxes from where you were to the uh, to the cone. Did you get speed? Guessing we're probably in tenth if yeah, we just pass the one person. God damn! We've been watching his end party. One to go. Inside lane. Okay. Ninth, so we pass somebody else too. Interesting, interesting, interesting. You got plenty of fuel. Hey, what are we gonna do this run? We're only about halfway through the race, and we've used two of our three sets of tires, gotten some damage, but we're Kind of getting back to where we want to be. You know, working our way back up. So I'm saying you're lucky to know if I can come and watch you get back to you. Do you think that guy's related to the racetrack? Probably not, right? Anyway, watching the 10. 10's having, doing just fine after whatever happened. Can't see a darn thing. An okay jump still though. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside if you want it. Hey, what's the uh, outside? Go low. Oh god. This is the twelve. Yeah, that's Come right. on, man. Why is everyone always getting loose right in front of me? Clear high. Outside. You're on the bottom. Three one. Car outside. Backing out of this. Clear up top. Didn't see a good situation. I wasn't even very much on his inside. Oh my god, 12. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. <sighs> Clear. That kind of made our first lap a little scary, but it's fine, it's fine, that's fine. Ahead, kind of sliding up the track. Oh my gosh, we got a huge move for eighth or so. Way overdrove it. Holy cow! Gets the run off though. Coming up on halfway here.
Gotta imagine they're overdriving it. They're gonna kill their tires real quick. Get the inside. Just hanging on for dear life. You're in the top ten position. Okay, Colson. Go low. There's a car on the high side. Clear outside if you want it. Buy him low. Oh, Kodak in the wall. He looked like he was going to get a massive run, and then he got up into the wall. Nine on the apron. Sure, I know where everybody is. Go low. The next car is Paris. Still there. Have to use a lot of wheel there. I don't like that. Clear high. Easy on the tires. Don't kill them too bad. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep looking. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Well, I was driving in it hard on the exit. Stay low, there's a car on the high side. Clear. Inside. Where is this guy going? Better Inside. stick it down there. Okay. Still Thankfully, I thought for sure he was going to push up into me how hard he drove in. Clear inside. Some very aggressive driving all over the place here. He's gonna do it again. Why are you ruining my corner for no reason? All you're doing is killing your tires and ruining my corner. I can't hit the apex like I want to. I'm trying to run the low line here. That is so annoying. What purpose does that serve? Oh. All right. Stay low. Around him, at least. We actually run the line we want to run for once. Thank you. I'm very kind of you. It definitely feels much better through three and four to me. People up there getting loose. Still good on fuel. Just wanted to check and make sure. Because it wasn't, uh, we didn't have an, a, a huge overabundance. Are you kidding me? This guy's back? That's so annoying. He's going to wreck me one of these times. He's like coming in from like four car lengths back and just getting in my racing line. Guys, all right. 
Guys making a pass. Keep high. Clear inside. Clear inside. Hey, that's just touching the fence. Really hurts your car. Not gonna immediately try to overtake yeah. the two. I'm gonna push him a little bit. This guy is a moron. He's just absolutely roasting his right front, and one of these times it's not going to stick up, and I'm going to be there. I can see it coming from a mile away, and there's nothing I can do about it, and I hate it. Just wish his tires would die already so I can drive how I want to drive. Like I lose like five miles an hour in the straightaway because of it. I can do so much better if you're there, I feel like, if I can actually hit where I want to hit, but hmm. That's just what everybody wants to do. Car inside. Clear inside. Of course, he's going to send it in here, because why wouldn't you? Inside. Stay high to the car on the low side. He actually didn't. He gets a runoff. He's probably going to be able to actually pass me. forced around the high line here. I don't really want to. Not giving me much room. Clear. I knew that was coming. I can't believe guys are racing like that for the funniest place. Watching the pack drive away. That wrecking back there? Believe it! Oh. Well, we gotta come take our final set of tires, I guess. Cool. People stopping on the track. Just gotta ruin it for everybody, I guess. Well, gotta take the last set now. What was the Delta bar again? My cat jumped on my keyboard and I got my delta bar up all the time. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Pace car is out. Line up single file. Behind car number zero. Five. Just tab. You're talking about the little box with the like, custom best lab and the green bar up top? Yeah, that's the green bar. Green red bar. Yeah, that's green bar. Green bar. Green bar. Green bar. Green bar. Green bar. All right, why are we not catching the field here? Catching the leaders, I mean. Thank you. Thank you. Kelsey said the cat jumped on the keyboard. I thought I was an ASRS again. It's happened a few times. All right, we're good. <laughs> the hell is this guy's problem? Wait for me. Are you so close okay, to me right on the pace laps? Caution laps or whatever. Is he mad at me? I don't know why he would what he would have anything to be mad at me for. The 
leader, Cornell, is pitting. Watch your speed limit. Don't put yourself on the outside of someone that qualified past you, then go ahead. That's incredibly stupid. God. Noxious. Pit box team, 10. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Yeah, it was 18 seconds of damage. That's nuts. 87, 90. Okay, go. You are out of tires. Line up single file. I hope that 15 got out ahead of the 26. Actually, I don't, because then he'll be directly behind me, won't he? I know that guy's gonna end up wrecking me. I just have that horrible feeling. All I really want is that top 10. Especially after, uh... I guess that's karma for you. Thought I was gonna die. <laughs> Early in the race. Pits are open. Go. Next time by. Inside line, I'm staying. E9 is where we're at. Okay, cool. Those guys are leaving closed pits. They're getting black flags. Or at least one of them did. Probably just that 18. So we will have a uh, smart guy directly behind me, ready to drive through me. Gonna be really aggressive here too with only 15 to go. It really stinks that there's nothing I can do. I just, I know the 26 is gonna wreck me. He's gonna overdrive a corner on entry, try to either stick it below me where he can't hold it, or where there's no room, or just run it directly in the back of me. Because he's overdriving the entries. I'm sure he's one of those guys where it's like my fault for driving too slow, too. Uh, I don't know him, though, I guess. Maybe he's really nice. He's not driving like it, though. Cool. Really freaking cool, guys. Excellent. Excellently done. Freaking morons. Now we've got engine damage. I'm obviously I'm the one that's gonna get the freaking worst damage out of all that. Why wouldn't I be? Car's killed. Freaking idiots. Can't even restart, right? Then the 26 just stuffed that guy in the wall. I just gotta try to hang on to what I can get with my low engine power. We're gonna blow an engine. 
I'm gonna blow an engine look out Clear behind. Inside. Inside. Clear inside. Bass freaking idiots. Car outside. Clear outside. They're wrecking. Low car up high. Go low. Full caution. Full caution. Yellow flag. They want you in I had all day to dodge that and didn't. Nice Low car ahead. Car car Get the nice 24 car. Closed. Left up 24 car by. I'm going to wait for the 24. How did we mess up that start so badly? I can't even imagine. We're going and then we're not. It's incredibly frustrating. The water temp is getting high. Can't even. 16, why would you uh, check up the whole field there on that research? Catch up, 28, Josh. I spun his friggin' tires. He stayed out, didn't he? He didn't. Pete Road is now open. I guess wrong. It's are open. Yeah, why don't you shut up? Christopher Cornell is the worst driver on I racing. I want to kiss him. <sighs> Eight guesses wrong, and so we pay for it, of course. Yeah, you don't guess. Maybe though. pay attention and watch. I'm so freaking mad, man. This total garbage race. We work all the way back up, and then what for what? Honestly, it helped me out because I jumped like 10 spots because of that. Help me out too, because it killed my engine and I hate myself. Pit box team, 10. 5. 3. 2. 1. Right here. Minute 10. We have to just fix all this too. I don't know if it's too late to do that tape or what, but can I like go 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 do that and then now it'll fix the tape? Yeah, okay. <sighs> Lots of people damage, but I I have to take as much of this as I can, or else it's just gonna blow. Even if I take this, it might blow. Okay, punch it. When we get it fixed, we'll see if it's actually good now, though. Or if it's still going to overheat. Took some tape off, hopefully to help out, but... We'll see, not very many laps to do, at least, so... What a messy race. Really disappointing. This is a fun combo, but we haven't gotten any green laps. Guys are driving like idiots. Can't even do restarts. And uh, I suffer because of it. Like, there's nothing I can do if, uh, if they're going to go and then all of a sudden they're stopped. Alright, we got to go. Got to catch the field. Don't really want to be wasting my tires under caution last, but I gotta catch up to the field. Okay, Colton, your water temperature looks quite high. I made my way past. Lap, guys. I have to stay behind you 20 unless you need other people. But... Okay. Well, we're not the only one with damage, at least, I guess. 
Never mind. See what we can salvage. Get ready. Going green. Can we restart this time? Hey, car is off. Time to do your job. We're going like three wide on the restart, so I don't understand. Going or what? That was beautiful. These guys suck. These guys are terrible. A sorry showcase of driving here at Auto Club tonight. Just garbage. No one can make it a freaking single corner. So again, I get screwed over by someone that can't make it one turn. I have to lift off completely. I'm going to lose the draft, which I, I need now if I'm going to have aero damage. Oh my god. This race has just been pure bad luck and bad drivers. Gee whiz. And I was in a good mood. <laughs> what is this? Car is not driving at all. Water temperature is going up. I'm glad I took that tape off. I don't even know if it's going to be enough though, because it's creeping. That high line, maybe. See if it gives us any speed. Probably not. We only got a few laps to go, so just trying to see what we can get. That didn't so much do anything for us, though. Water temp is getting high. Water temp, trying to kill me. No turn anymore. Car's still gonna explode. Gotta do big lift offs or I'm gonna get an exploded engine. Car outside. Your team's got more speed on the straights, I think, maybe. Maybe not. Be close. Definitely got more turn, though, I think. I got nothing left in this thing. That guy's a lap car, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, break the draft. Really care about 17th that much. That car's gonna take away my line because why wouldn't he? Kenny Six will his engine. I just gotta make sure I don't uh, do the same thing. Big liftoffs seem to be working. Keep as much, keep as good a finish as I can, I guess. Water temp is getting high. Sure is. That car driving it hard. Almost hitting the wall. Water temp is getting high. Uh, water temp's getting up there. A little scary, I don't like it. Twenty's trying to race the eighteen. That's probably pretty frustrating for him. What happened, brother? The water temp is getting high. 
From where he's sticking his nose. Everyone's got to stick their nose where it doesn't belong, always. Don't get it. Uh, side by side with a 20 or anything. That traffic in the way. Okay, about to drift up and take me out. So we haven't seen enough bad driving here today. This car to survive one more lap. Just a sad, sad race. Good win, Garrett. Hey, what happened on the back shot? Thanks, good race, good. Hey, that was fun there at the end. Thanks for a good win, but not a very good race. Bring it back to the pits. We're going. That was a good race tonight. I don't know what happened to the dude that really cost me, but... That sucked. I don't know what happened. Maybe this cat jumped on the keyboard again. I don't know. He usually doesn't do these stuff. 16th. 8x. Just terrible, terrible driving by a lot of people. I felt like I could have been a top 5 car, potentially. Maybe that's ambitious, but I mean, we qualified 3rd. I felt good. Didn't get any long runs to take advantage of tire saving. Got damage early on and just continued to get screwed over. It's really frustrating. Uh, we'll take a look. See how things turned out. 24 is getting the wall. 23 just comes up and gets him. So that was your first caution right off the start. 23 not able to get it turned down after the guy got in the wall. Maybe didn't even see him. Just going backwards, so I gotta wait for him to stop or turn around. Come on. There we go. The cone. Fourteen's just blinking. Getting that safer barrier. And then now what happened here? Just turns down like I'm not there. And then he goes up and hits the three. Like, what is that? Just not paying enough attention. I barely missed the three. It's bad driving. Like, he admitted, he apologized for it. But he just, he's trying to cross over the three but he doesn't pay attention to the fact that I'm already there. Just, I don't, what I don't understand, he hits me, and then he just keeps in it and goes and gets the three, too. Like, what is that? I don't know. He apologized, so it's fine. But not, not very well done there. Three gets a little bit of the wall. I avoided uh, anything worse, at least. For now, anyway. See, I lock it down, but then I need to start steering, so I, I actually let go of the brakes. Right around there. Just barely get it to grip up, and then there's a 3 there. I thought that was the 10, initially. It's too busy saving to look at the number of the guy flashing by me. And uh, we didn't even get a caution for that. 
26 hitting the wall. It's barely. Lots of wall happening. Mine's not... Ooh, that was a weird chain reaction. So we got the nine too, too far off the wall, heading into the corner on the high side. You've got to be up by the wall. And so the eleven's expecting him to be higher up, and so he hooks the eleven. That's definitely the nine's fault. He denied it, but it's his fault. And then the uh, seven gets turned because of it. Yeah, no, definitely on the nine. If you're side by side, it's expected you're going to be by the wall. Seven, not quite able to save it. A couple guys get some damage out of it. So that's unfortunate. All right, making our way through. Free blows engine, yep, that sucks. Doesn't take much. Nine getting loose on exit comes down and hits the two. There's still three wide. That's a little bit of a scary situation. They're racing hard. Two just rear ends the nine. Heading into the corner. I mean, nine's gonna have a big run here, but he gets rid of it by hitting the wall. It's a little too wiggly for him, I guess. Seven in the wall. Nineteen looking like Martin Truex Jr. in the wall. Well, not looking like Martin Truex Jr. because he's hitting the wall, but you know the paint scheme number combo. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, the seventeen wants the high side. I guess he feels stronger up there, but he's not able to hold it. He he's wiggling too much. Comes down and gets the eighteen. And then that gets the 27 as well. Really destroys his car, hitting the inside wall and then the outside. That ends his race. Blinking cars, doing their thing. 16 going up toward the wall, just barely, not even real maybe. Twenty was loving that high line, except right there. Ten from the lead. It's a decent chunk of the wall. Guy was right in front of me when he did that. I remember when my car wasn't broken. Nothing much going on back here. Just some wall and such. 29's just gonna run through the 24. That was completely unnecessary. Like he's not even in the second lane here. You can see he's just wobbling up and down and just goes up and gets the 24. Not giving him any room at all. Just takes them both out. Just some really bad driving this race. Just from a lot of people. And then what happened here? The eight guess is wrong. So then the two goes, and then the nine goes, and I'm seeing the nine go. So I was watching him, I couldn't see the leader. So if we just get some of the worst of it, it's just a, the accordion. It's everybody getting a piece of it. Like a shockwave. And then that just destroyed our car. That was really bad damage, just getting smashed between two guys. I mean, I was 
upset with the way the 26 was driving, but it's hard to even blame him for that. You don't really expect that to happen. Can't expect someone to have much, enough reaction time. I mean, I didn't have enough for the guy ahead of me. It shouldn't happen in the first place. Eleven putting a nose where it doesn't really belong there. That was weird. Uh, trying to figure out what some guys were thinking here. He's just following this guy and then he's like turning down? I don't know. I don't even know what some of that thinking was. But 23 gets taken out. And then the 17 just absolutely destroys him. I think he would have enough time to slow down to find a way around that, but he just kind of aims for him. I'm able to get around it. Twenty-three KO'd. Not sure why we're seeing this. And then, of course, just constantly getting screwed over and over. Someone in front of me is going to be looping it. I, mean, I swear this something went wrong every restart, I swear. But, you know, 19's just going to loop it right in front of me. I mean, the 28 got it worse. I didn't even realize I touched him. Jesus Christ. Like, be able to make it through one corner. I don't know. Is that so much to ask? I don't know. I'm just grumpy. I'm sorry. They both get taken out from it. Ah, uh, there's the 26 blowing his engine. I'm very happy I took that tape off when I did. Because I think I would have blown my engine. There would have been no avoiding it if I hadn't taken up like 10% or so of tape off when I did. That guy's got major damage, but I don't think he has any like aero damp. Oh, never mind. He has blown his motor. <laughs> that sucks. I didn't even see that happened. He didn't finish behind us. He was doing okay too still. Sting gets the wall hard, just giving everything he had, trying to get the win, I think. And then uh, that'll do it. One just doing a celebratory suicide, I guess. That's one way to do it. But very frustrating. I guess guys being friends and running into each other. Just it's very uh just got screwed over and over again. Every restart and uh just got killed. Whenever they stacked up, the eight guessed wrong. He's fine, he gets P2 but ruins our race and uh, got taken out a couple times. So that's fun. Um, this one didn't go so well. I'm hoping I'll get the chance to run this again on my own time and actually have some fun because I know there's potential. I know there's potential in here to have some fun, but this one just stressful, but thank you for watching anyway. Sometimes the way it, that's the way it goes. I uh, appreciate you and I hope you have a good one. I'll see you.